Okay, it's November 6th, and I'm about to start my uh, fifth cleanup down here at uh, Temple Crest Park on the river. So, real calm down here. It's about 70 degrees, beautiful. And uh, let me just uh, zero in on all those egrets over there. Uh, these guys just came in for a landing here just uh, a couple minutes ago. Anyway, another quick scan here of the uh, river, Hillsboro River, near Tampa, or in Tampa. Well, I have, uh, I thought it was going to be an easy day. I didn't think I was going to have to get in the heavy brush uh, today. I expected uh, uh, that this whole strip I'm working now, to show you where I, what I'm in here, I'm going all the way around. You can see uh, it's just tall grass, brush. You know, look at these, these guys up over my head here. And because I am right on the edge of the water here, I do have to be very careful. Uh, fortunately, I am uh, somewhat crazy, which uh, makes this kind of work possible. But uh, I haven't had any problems with any wildlife. It's been very peaceful, except for just crawling through all this, uh, through this crazy brush. It's, uh, it's uh, quite a challenge, but I'm getting this stuff out. I'm sure I'll miss a lot of stuff can't possibly get it all, but if I can get most of the visible stuff, uh, that's at least a good start, or at least uh, better than it was before. Boy, it's pretty out there. Look at that. That is really pretty. I can just stop here for a minute and just look around and, and uh, rest, and uh, this is all worth it right here. Uh, this is great. Okay, let me see if I can wrap things up here and move on. Hey, I'm going to have to put my gear down uh, and walk in here uh, with my hands free because the water is uh, um, deep here and uh, a lot of it is uh, just pure vegetation that I'm standing on. So what's holding my weight up is plant material, not, not the ground. <laughs> so uh, it's a little spooky walking in here. Uh, and of course you don't know what's in here. I'm trying to get to a cache of trash here and show you what I'm trying to get to, but it looks like I'm getting in really deep. I'm up past my knees already and God knows what's in here. But I'm going to try if I can... Oh man, the vegetation, it kind of holds you for a minute and gives way. Well, let me see if I can stretch around the corner and show you what I'm looking at. I don't know if I can get in here. I'm going to have to try another angle. Uh, because this stuff can give away underneath you very fast and uh, next thing you know you're uh, you're real wet. Let me try another avenue. Okay, I'm coming in. Uh, well, this is better. This is better. A lot of vegetation here. I'm having to push through but I'm only uh, like half deep in water. This is much better. And here's um, what I, uh, I'm coming in here for. All this good stuff. Lots of trash in here. I'm going to use my 8-foot grabbers uh, and pull it into me and then uh, put that into my net. Now let me show you what I got down here. Uh, as I look down, now I don't know how deep that water is. I'll find out when I get to it. Uh, let me zoom here. Hold on. Okay, I'm hoping I can uh, get all this stuff further up there. You can see plastic, mostly plastic, right in here, mostly plastic, and that's because plastic floats. Same with the styrofoam. There's tons of beer bottles in here. Let me, I thought this is in focus here. I'm now uh, awful, awful zoomed in here, way too close. Let me stop. Okay, I've cleared out this little small area right in here. And uh, I cannot step very far. I go just a couple feet away uh, into this uh, area and I go into deep water. I don't know how deep it is, but I had to back away. So at least uh, this little area is clear and now I'm going to be uh, working my way into there. I have no idea what the water is like in here. I'm just going to have to find out. Okay, I found a spot here I can get in to the area that I thought I couldn't get into and that's great. Uh, there are some, uh, just uh, kind of showing you, I've cleared quite a bit way back in there. That's where I was and then I got stuck right in there because of the depth. So I was dragging stuff in with my, uh, dra my grabbers in the hose. And I'll show you uh, where I'm starting is right in here with all this good stuff. Boy, boy, boy. It's just a, it's a phenomenon. 
it's like I obviously won't be able to finish all of this today uh, just the sheer volume even though it's uh, I'm relatively efficient picking all this stuff up because it's uh, I'm, I'm uh, like if you can I'm in only ankle deep water right now uh, there's some deep spots but for the most part it's very manageable um, and I'm using the rake in some cases which is uh, real efficient because uh, there isn't too much here to snag up a rake but the volume it's just incredible it's just incredible uh, out of sight out of mind oh yeah beautiful can you believe this well of course you can well still working away here I'm uh, it depends on where I stand knee deep or almost uh, to the point of overflowing my waders uh, if I step right out in there uh, I have to be real careful here because I don't know what's in the water and it's hard to see you can see you can't see through it I've muddied it up but there's so much of this duckweed and other kinds of plants uh, a lot of vegetation behind me you can see piles of trash I'm, uh, you can see right here in the net uh, that's water for about uh, 15 feet, big old uh, plant pot of some kind. Uh, you can see piles of garbage that I'm going to start scooping up and getting into the uh, into the garbage can. And uh, but it's uh, actually been going pretty well considering uh, there's been no I've, the spiders. They they, they kind of make me crazy. They don't. I haven't been bitten by them, but they're crawling all over me and they'll 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 fall off of me and into the, into the water. I'll feel them on my neck. And it's, uh, it's unsettling. So uh, anyway, uh, let me keep going here. Okay, it's just after two. I've hauled in five 42 gallon bags of trash in about a uh, 75 yard uh, stretch of the, uh, of the uh, shoreline here in Hillsboro, uh, in the Hillsboro River at uh, Temple Crest Park. But what I showed you before, I'm gonna show you again the area that was full of trash. I just want to show you how nice it looks now. Uh, I'm not going to say there's no trash in here. I could spend the rest of my days uh, picking up styrofoam bits. They're impossible. But if you'll notice, looking around, you don't see all those bottles. I'm not sure. Let's see. Can I walk here? Uh, uh, you never know when it suddenly gets deep. Okay, now it's, uh, as you can see here, uh, looks pretty clean in here. Uh, just uh, watching the water. I don't know what can be in here. Uh, over in there is where I was uh, videoing originally, uh, and then it got deep, and I, so I had to come back around this way. But I was uh, over in that area, and you can see this whole area here. All this area now is clean. That's where all those bottles and, and plastic items that you saw were floating. And I got it all out. So I feel, I feel very good uh, about what I've done here. But I've got another... Uh, uh, I just got more. It'll keep going. Like I say... Uh, but like I said, I think this will take me the rest of the year to finish up this park. There is so much trash. Okay, I'm all done, and uh, let's haul that trash to the dumpster and head home.